Hi everybody, my name is Josie Lanzi. I'm from Newport Ritchie, Florida. And today is Wednesday, May 12th. We're on the third day of the entrees, and this is our last week at a go ahead of the entrees. Not only it's Wednesday, May 12th, today is also my wedding anniversary. So I've decided to share my romantic dinner with you. And it is a French dish, and it serves too, and it's called Kaki Saint Jacques. But since I'm making it with Philadelphia cream cheese today, I decided to call it Coquille Saint-Jacques à la Philly style. So let me get started and show you how it goes. I've already pre-done, I've already done one and I saved one more for you, which will be mine, my husband's is done. So you know how to make it. So let's start. Basically, what you first need to do is boil three medium-sized potatoes that you have peeled and diced very small. The next thing you need to do after they're cooked is to drain them and add two ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese, three tablespoons of milk, one tablespoon of butter, and a little cracked black pepper. You want to go ahead and mix that and mash that really well. And when I said two ounces of the Philadelphia cream cheese, today I actually used the um, onion and chive um, Philadelphia cream cheese for more flavoring, of course. Now once that's done, you want to put that aside. The next thing you want to do is get a pot, a small pot like this, and you will add two tablespoons of butter, melt that on medium heat, and add two tablespoons of flour you want to go ahead and make a roux. So you want to go ahead and whisk it and whisk it through for about 30 seconds or so to get the flour incorporated very well with the um, butter. The next thing is to slowly add two cups of milk. And then you're going to go ahead and for about five minutes uh, cook that until it becomes a thick, thick, thick white sauce. Once you have done that, um, usually we use um, chicken base, but in this case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the salmon Philadelphia cream cheese, which gives it a wonderful taste and will go really good with the seafood we're going to incorporate in this Cookie Saint Jacques. And by the way, Cookie means shell in English. And in France, I know they serve them in these shell shaped um, little containers for you. But today we're going to use ramekin. Okay. So, so far we have a bechamel sauce, a white sauce, that we've added um, the three ounces of the salmon Philadelphia cream cheese. Yum. Okay, so you have your sauce all done. The next thing you want to do is add some cooked, ready to go, crab meat. And then you want to add some shrimp. Yum, this is starting to look really good. And you want to incorporate all that together. And then you're going to add some green onions for some color and a little kit for them too. It's going to be delicious. Okay, you want to mix all that together. And then you want to take a ramekin like so, like one of these little cute things. And you want to go ahead and pour in your bechamel sauce, seafood sauce, into your ramekin, just like this. Okay, now, the, the next thing you wanna do after you've filled your little ramekin like this, I hope you can see this, is to go ahead and pipe some potatoes. Now these are the onion chive mashed potatoes with Philadelphia onion chive cream cheese, so we have a lot of Philadelphia cream cheese in here. And what you're gonna do, I'll show you here in a minute, fill that bag up and move this out of the way so you can see. Take a piping bag like so. You can also use a plastic bag, but these tend to be still hot, so um, you gotta be careful. And then you wanna go ahead and just go around the edge and create like a little border. And you're gonna raise that little border a little bit taller than a ramekin. It's gonna look very pretty, and when it bubbles and cook in the oven, it's not gonna overflow. 
So there you have it. The next thing you want to do is to add about a quarter cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. Yum, more cheese. <laughs> We're going cheese crazy here. But you know, you're going all out here, especially for me. This is really good on a romantic evening or an anniversary, like wedding anniversary like mine. Okay, and then I just top it with a little shrimp so you know what's inside. And this is what it looks like before you actually put it in the oven. Pretty, huh? Well, I have one made already and I'm gonna share that one with you. So I'm gonna put that one aside because it's gonna need to go in the oven and that's gonna be mine. I've already made my husband. Okay, I already put a little tent on it because I wanted to keep it warm. But I also wanna show you, it's still hot, what it looks like when you take it out of the oven. Looks like this. See how pretty that is? The colors are beautiful. Oh my, it smells so good. Now I'm just gonna garnish this with a little green fapala. It's gonna make it look pretty too and give it a little color. Just like that. And I'm gonna plate this and show you the presentation. Oh, how pretty that looks. Put that to the side. Move everything out of the way. And move this all the way here. And then of course we're gonna be having a glass of wine and toasting to a wedding anniversary. And let me just go ahead and focus in so you can see that. Take a look at this. Coquille Saint-Jacques a la Philly style. That's gonna be delicious. Just delicious. Well, I was so happy to share this nice little fancy dish that is not so hard to make, but well worth it when it's a special occasion like your wedding anniversary. My husband is so sweet. He asked me yesterday, Honey, if you were to want to have something extra special for anniversary, did you want to go to a special place or did you want to get a special gift? I said, well, I can always cook, but I'd love a special gift. He goes, what was that? What is that? And I said, I'd love to get a notification to go to Savannah. And he started laughing. It was so funny. And he agreed with me. He said, honey, it would be a wonderful gift for both of us for you to get a notification to Savannah. Wonderful anniversary grit. I'm thinking, he thinks I'm crazy. It's all about Philadelphia cream cheese. Real women of Philadelphia, Paula Dean this, Paula Dean that, Paula Dean. I think he'd be relieved and maybe he'd get his, wife, his normal wife back. But shh, we're loving this girls. I'm wishing all of you the best of luck. We still got a week and a half to go, and I hope you try my dish and you enjoy it on a very special occasion. It does serve too. Enjoy. Until next time, so long everybody. Bye.